I think what I'll do is... I'm not gonna... I, like, I'm not gonna get rid of these just yet. Like, I could salvage them, but I think I'll hold on to them. In case I, in case I can, like, sell stuff. Although, I... I don't know. I, I haven't really seen any currency. Oh, wait, no, here we are. There's... Christite, apparently, is the currency. Yeah. So I, I could probably sell these things. Turret mode. That's an ability, apparently. Okay, oh yeah, it's signature weapons, abilities, battle frame gear. Okay, so I can probably put this here. So turret mode. While turret mode is activated, you are immobile and gain increased accuracy in the rate of fire. Activate the mode again to cancel it. Okay. That's kind of like um, in uh, Garden Warfare. Like, uh, yeah, in Garden, in, yeah, Garden Warfare, they have, like, the uh, pea shooter, like, switches into, like, the turret. I haven't actually played that game, but I've seen people play it. Uh, right, so this is a reactor. Apparently, it's better than my current one, so we'll switch that out. Okay. So I'm going to have to get used to using mouse and keyboard. I would have really loved to have used the controller, but it's just not practical. For this kind of game, there's just too many buttons. There's like not enough. There's not enough things for the controller to handle. Somebody needs to make a controller that has like more buttons. That has like a whole bunch of buttons on it, <laughs> like everywhere. I think that's another reason why I like Defiance is because I can play Defiance using just a controller because it's actually been pretty well made for a controller. In fact. I think the game originally came out on the, on the, on Xbox 360 like first, and then it came to PC later on. That game's also free to play, so that's also why I like it. Any game that's free to play, I can always enjoy. Okay, am I meant to be buying? Is this okay? So I'm, I'm supposed to buy this apparently. What's this? A voucher. Okay. So apparently I can buy that. Right, and there's an ammo pack, which does... What's this? Depl uh, oh, so I just bought a vehicle, did I? Deployable light ground vehicle acquired. Open your character overview thing again, and equip it. Press V to activate, okay. So, put that in here. Mission. Everything is shadow. The Accord has lost contact with the security team in Warcom server rooms. Return to the facility and secure all information on the Arclight project before the Chosen reach it. Reputation and vendors. You gain reputation with a faction by performing actions. Uh, your good standing with a faction can be used to buy items at special vendors, quartermasters. I'm pretty sure they, they already told me this before. Uh, check your reputation. Yeah, we already saw that. Opening, selecting factions. Yep, I already checked all that. Ultimate ability unlocked. Open your loadout and equip your ultimate ability. Or is it all? Ah, oh, I see it's already there. Okay. Okay, so ultimate ability. This ability slowly gains charge with you while you're in combat. When your ultimate ability is 100%, you may activate it. Brace for impact. Briefly gain extreme damage resistance and taunting nearby enemies to attack you. When the damage reduction expires, it causes an explosion, dealing damage based on the amount absorbed. Alright. Uh, so what else we got? Uh, so base damage, 12,662. Uh, Last for four seconds. The radius is 25 meters. Charge speed is one, and the item charge level is 10. Wow, I'm already level 10. Okay. Right. Okay, Doki. We have our vehicle. Wait. Didn't I already put the vehicle in there? What? Do I have two vehicles? No, they're the same thing, right? Oh, it's a rental. Okay. <laughs> it's a rental. Ugh. Even in the game, all I can get is a rental. Uh, right, so we did that. Let's have a check. What else can I buy from you? Actually, can I sell stuff? How do I sell stuff? Can I not sell stuff? I feel like I should be able to sell stuff. Drag icons to edit your ability bar. 
Yeah, I, I already know. Oh, right, so what, I can just like... Oh, I see, when you buy them, you can like just grab it and put it over. Or something. So, crystal, I have... 782. Perk unlock. Uh, I'm not trusted enough to get that. Teleport beacon. I assume lets you teleport. <laughs> Go figure. Throw a beacon that opens a portal to the impact location. You may activate the ability again to teleport directly to the to the portal at the impact point. Oh my god. <coughs> so much stuff. Oh, it's too much stuff. <laughs> I don't I don't like all the choices. Alright. For now, let's just continue on. I'll worry about buying stuff later. Actually, let me just see if I can buy any, like... I'll see if I can buy any, like, better weapons. Or, like, uh... What level are you? Nine. Okay. I'm ten. Right, so what we got? Um... Short barrel. Sh assault rifle. Apparently that's better than my current one. That's also better. What level does it require? Fourteen. Right, so I can't use it. Oh, wait, no. It's, uh, level nine. Okay, so that means I can use it. Does that does that have any, uh, got any like primary weapons? No, it doesn't look like it. Glider thing, which uh deploy a glider pad at your location. Okay, so it's like a glider pad. That could be useful, I guess. Adrenaline rush. You and nearby enemies benefit from improved movement speed and weapon fire rate. Okay, that sounds alright. I feel like I'm never going to use charge, so I feel like I should like replace that with something else. Requires biotech type... Oh, okay. I see. I'm not a biotech. I'm... I'm Dreadnought, so I have to look for Dreadnought things. Right, okay, so I can't use any of those because they, they require uh, different types. I guess I could buy the glider pad thing. 120 seconds shared glider cooldown. Deploy glider pad your location. Sure, why not? Let's buy that. So, okay, I thought I I thought I could like drag it from here. Okay, I, I can't, so I have to like. Let's go here. So, can I put these on any of these? Okay, here we are. Yep. So that's on five now. Oh, so I, that's only one. So when I use that, I have to like buy another one. Okay. Good to know. Keep an eye on that. Ah, oh, okay, so I can like... Okay, let me just put that back. Wait, no, get rid of it. There we go. Uh, right. Let's try and buy a sub... Like a secondary weapon. So let's have a, let's have a, let's have a look, shall we? Damage per second is plus one... Uh, so what we got? We got... Damage per second is... 330. Damage per second is 277. 495. 362. 333. I think I get that shotgun. Where's that? 495. Can I get that? I think I can. Where's it show my money? Ah, oh, right here. Okay. Apparently you can get like coupon things, but I think I think those are like I assume you probably buy those with real Oh grenade launcher, hello. Uh I think we'll go with the shotgun though for now. Yeah, okay. Yep. Alright, so I'll get rid of that. I'll equip my shotgun to here. Okay, that's good. Okay, so apparently you can't sell stuff, which means I may as well just salvage those things. Okay. So we have the glider, and I think that's... Okay, so we got weapon parts, battle frame parts. So that's there, but I think this is the same thing. Like, I think that is that. Anyway, so we got us. Uh, what's our other weapon? Got a shotgun. 
Hmm, it's only got seven shots. It's not particularly great, but, uh... Oh, well. I feel like damage per second, usually you want to get, like, the... You usually want to have, like, a high damage per second thing. When it comes to guns. And, like, when it comes to games, and in general. I always look for, like, high damage stuff. Like, it's, like damage per second usually means that it's, like, really good. If you got, like, a high damage per second. DPS, as they like to call it. They like to say. So where am I heading? Apparently I, I'm going the same way these people are. Ares 3-5, I'm Lieutenant Draper. Captain Fuller is returned New to the ability board. unlocked. Okay. What happened? We've lost contact with our security team down in the lab. What is my new ability? The captain left to investigate. He'll be waiting for you inside. I don't see the new ability. Where, where's the new ability? I thought you said I had new ability. Oh, wait, hold on. I, there's a claim reward thing up here. What's this? Increases all Christite gains by 10% for the next 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, right. I swear I said I got new... Wait, hold on. What we got here? You have new mail. Check your inbox now to view your new... Okay, what we got? Welcome to... Yada, yada, yada. In addition. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. All right. I thought it... I swear it said I got a new ability. Apparently not. Oh well. Let's go some gliding. Do some gliding time. <sighs> so. Ashlings. I don't think I have to press W. I think it automatically just goes forwards. Like I don't I don't think it goes any quicker if I press W. I think it's all about the gliding, like if you go up or down. I feel like I'm not going the right way. Ah, it's fine, I'm sure. I'm sure this way's just as good. I don't know how to deactivate it. Okay, apparently you just land. So that's how you deactivate. You just land. Uh, I think those are enemies that I see up ahead. Should I try out my vehicle? Here we go. Uh, does it actually have weapons? Alright, let me just see what the vehicle controls are. So what's fire? Okay. So this... I think this vehicle just doesn't have weapons. Yeah. So this vehicle doesn't have any weapons, that's kind of annoying. So how do I exit? Just to get out like that? Get out of here, bitch. I don't have time for your crap. Criminals have stolen a data crypt containing classified and cord intel. Move to their location and retrieve it. Alright, let's just, let's ignore the enemies. Let's just, just get there. How do I how do I get like a boost? Hmm. Okay, I feel like maybe I don't actually have a boost. I think this gun, I think it automatically disengages, doesn't it? Oh, apparently not. I thought the vehicle would, like, turn off. Okay, well, I think we have to get out now anyway, so... Enter mission. Right. So this is... It very, it, it kind of reminds me of Defiance a little bit. The way it works. By the door, three, five. Instant... Content. Certain abilities and features are disabled upon entering a mission or other instance content. Personal vehicles and glides cannot be activated unless otherwise noted. World map is non-functional. Please refer to your mini-map in your HUD. Okay. So yeah, so this is like a mission that's like outside the general world. Kind of reminds me of like in Defiance where you'd like go down into like a bunker. That'd be like a separate area. Hi, person. 
my people, 3-5. There were no reports of enemy contact here, but we should assume there are hostiles. Captain we Hudson. Their mission and transfer all Arclight project data to a data vault and remove it from Warcom servers. We're completely removing the Arclight project from Warcom servers? That seems extreme. It's what the Chosen came for, and under no circumstances can they succeed. What the hell? How did they get in? The Chosen been punching holes in this place all day. Security's been down for hours. Get out of here. Annoying bugs. Ooh, what's this? Sin Beacon. I don't know what that is, but I picked it up. <laughs> Looks like we're clear. Time to get this door open. Right, how do I get the... Oh, I see, he's gonna do it. <laughs> I'll open the door, I've got the code. Alright, I'm expecting more enemies. Oh, hello, explosive barrel. It looks like an ex... I think that's explosive, right? It looks explosive. Dead person. Significant tissue damage from small arms fire. No vitals. Those are chosen rifle wounds. All right, three five. We need to finish their mission. Sir, there may be other soldiers who need help. We'll help them if we can, Arrow. The priority is that data. Excuse me, I don't have the code. Wanna open the door? There you go. Ugh, my gears in war. It's gears in war. It's gears, gears of war. Did I say gears in war? Uh, gears of war. Play having to wait for that guy to get the bloody doors open, and then he dies in the end. Actually, that's pretty really. It's pretty good thing that he died because otherwise you had to be sitting around waiting for him to bloody open the thing. So what is this? What happens if I shoot it? Oh, it had stuff in it. Okay, in that case, I should. You know what? Let's go back and grab that other thing. Actually, screw it, it's too far away. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I can't be bothered going back. Oh well, at least now we know what it is. I probably should have looked at it and actually read what it said. It was glowing red, so I assumed it was explosive. I got no visual. Where are they, Arrow? They must have stealth units. I can't pinpoint their location. 3-5, search the room. There has to be something we can use to show their position. Search the room upstairs. Am I? Is this where I'm going? That's a fire suppression console. Worth a shot. Can I not actually do any damage to these guys? I mean, sure they're invisible, but can't I kill them? Apparently not. So what? Oh, of course it's downstairs. Of course that's where we have to go. Ow. Stop shooting me. Oh, come on. You can see where they are. They've got bloody Go red lasers. Fire hmm? I thought I did that already. Didn't I do that already? Fine, I'll do it again. Override isn't working. Destroy the console. The Halon will trigger automatically. Seriously? Why didn't we just do that in the first place? That's bollocks. I could see where they were beforehand. Get rid of the healing dude. Still in here. Finish them off. Hello, what have we got here? Some sort of chassis. I'll keep an eye on that. Okay. Are we done? Oh wait, no. The map says there's someone there. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Goodbye. Okay, we're done now, right? Right. Okay, 
guess we'll follow him. Oh my god, once again we have to wait for him to open the door. Not as glad as we are. Keep an eye out, 3-5. I'm going to check the data logs and see what they accessed. Our Glyph project data is missing from the server. Damn it! It's not good. Wait, forget what I just said. Looks like Bathsheba moved it off the servers. Just a hard copy left. Good thinking, Doctor. Where's the hard copy? Next room. We must have been planning to grab it before we evacuated everyone. The security door is going to be a problem, though. You're on your own for the next part, 3-5. What? Why? Fire control wants to seal the room. I can override it, but I need to keep the door open from this side. Okay, door's open. Gallon sale, though. Probably should reload. That'd probably help. Recent system access. Let's see what the chosen were after. Special projects? No, we'll just get that data vault. Well, at least the enemies don't keep infinitely respawning like they were earlier in the game. I think it was because there was the tutorial, so they obviously had the enemies respawn, so. Oh, hey, thank you for that follow. That reactor. What the hell's that? It's a canister of stuff. Did you find it? It should be there. Man, they take a long time to die. They've got like this really like long death animation. They're just like, ugh. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Cool data. Okay. I guess I'll try again without moving. Yeah, right, there we go. Good. Reload. Don't destroy that console. Are you sure, Captain? Yes. I'm not taking any chances. Okay. Console is. What's this? Wait. Press N. Show reward screen. All right, we got Boss, some stuff. The hyperkinesis module is your most powerful ability module. They require significant charge time before use, but they more than make up for it in effect. Uh, use it against the chosen. What is this? Okay, I did. Oh, I see. I'm using my ultimate ability. I think. Hey, whoa, where did you come from? I don't get it. I I tried using my ability and it didn't work. It just didn't. Mm. Okay. Respawn now. Was I meant to hold down the four or something? I don't understand that. Maybe I'm just meant to kill them. I thought they were telling me to use some sort of ability. Apparently not. Yeah, so I'm definitely meant to be using my ability. Yeah, I thought it seemed like something went like something went weird. I pressed it and then it like sort of just failed. Okay, we'll, we'll I guess we'll have to try it another time. Give it a go at some other point when it's actually working. Wait, how did this guy get here? Oh wait, is this is this the same guy? Yeah, it's the same guy. How did he get there? He somehow managed to get ahead of me. Is that data secure? Two five has it, and there will be no other copies. 
not sure about the running chest. We'll sweep and clear of all of Orcon. <laughs> That's an interesting out. time to put Fine. the mail thing. Let me have that data right in his face. I don't know, Arrow. First, we need to assess the damage and secure our people. At least I feel like I didn't hear us speak just then. I'll keep the data vault secure. Dr. Bathsheba's Arclight research must not fall into chosen hands. Impressive work today, 3-5. I've had a lot of rookies under my command in the past, but they wouldn't have been able to handle a mission like this. We need more pilots like you. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I don't really know why they call them pilots. I mean, it's like an exosuit. I mean, I guess you, I guess you could call it a pilot, but... Actually, Captain Fuller, there I know, it, it doesn't really seem like a thing that you pilot. Equip durability. From this point on, you will start losing durability. Oh, great. On your equipment when you take damage. Oh, wow. Okay. When a piece of equipment's durability reaches zero, it will no longer function properly. Repair your gear at a battle frame garage before it breaks. Okay. Battle frame garages are terminals that allow you to change the wall paint of your battle frame. Equip perks. Repair your gear. They are often found around any location with an active Sin Tower. Right. Whoa! <laughs> That's brilliant. That's good. Alright, I see. So we're, we're at the start here now. We're like at the, uh, the beginning area. Alright, let me check out my stuff. I probably have some new things. Leg gear. So that gives me extra health. Alright, so let's put that on the legs. Reactor gives me more power, I think. Yeah. Chassis gives me more health. Weapon handling rating goes from uh, goes from six to zero. Uh, jet energy recharge gets increased. It gives me more health, so I think I'll put it on. I've already got that, and that's my thing that I've got already. Yeah, so this one. This thing which I tried to use, it didn't work. So it's meant to... You're meant to absorb damage and then make an explosion, which... Uh, uh, it, like, re uh, it fires back the damage that you absorbed, or something. We'll have to test that out at some point. So, what am I doing now? I guess I'll just follow the lines. Actually, before we do that... I will salvage some of my old gear. Get rid of that. You equip the glider next to your bike. Uh, it's not actually a glider. It's a it's a pad thing. I, like I don't think it's. Although can I? Okay, so I can do that. I'll get rid of that then. That's not me dancing, is it? Okay, apparently that was me dancing. What? What the hell? What? Why would... What's going on? There's a... There's a weird dancing circle. Okay. <laughs> you found me in game. Cool, really? Where, where are you? Oh, there you are. How you doing? <laughs> you made me dance. Dancing the the dance of your people. Look at this guy, he's level thirty. Taunting us with all his amazing abilities and knowledge. Pradian is evil. Apparently. What the hell is this? Oh my god, he's a... What the hell? <laughs> he's a midget now. That's interesting. Uh, where's my waypoint? Right, telling me to go this way. 